The principal cells are lymphocytes, neutrophils, macrophages, and dendritic cells, all of which originate in the bone marrow. The lymphocytes consist of B and T cells. T cells emerge from the bone marrow and travel to the thymus where they are educated and mature into functional cells, acquiring their receptors for specific antigens. This is the means by which different lymphocytes are committed to recognizing different antigens. They then go through a process of selection which ensures tolerance of self-antigens, those which are the normal constituents of our body, and the capacity to recognize and react to non-self antigens. The identification of appropriate antigens occurs by means of special recognition molecules on their surface, which are called T-cell receptors. From the thymus, they travel through the bloodstream to the various secondary lymphoid tissues, such as the lymph nodes, the payer's patches on the gut, or the spleen. They may circulate through the lymphatics back into the bloodstream. B cells develop in the bone marrow. They do not pass through the thymus, but move directly to the lymph nodes and the spleen through the bloodstream and circulate around the lymphatic network. The antibody on each antigen reactive B cell is specific for one antigen only. So although T and B cells are different in their origins, each has a repertoire of specificities from which particular members can be selected to respond specifically to individual antigens. They will continue to circulate between secondary lymphoid tissues until they encounter an antigen which the lymphocyte receptor can recognize or they die. The next group is the neutrophils. These originate in the bone marrow and travel through the bloodstream, but unlike the lymphocytes, they do not recirculate. Instead, they make a one-way journey to the tissues, particularly areas of infection. If they find any foreign material, they will phagocytose it and destroy it internally before they eventually die. Neutrophils tend to migrate into the inflammatory sites, but some will go to all tissues except the brain. Macrophages fall into two categories, fixed and mobile. Fixed macrophages move from the bone marrow to their own secondary lymphoid tissue and remain there. The fixed macrophages also go to non-lymphoid tissue. Mobile macrophages travel from the bone marrow through the bloodstream, and some return to the local lymph nodes through the lymphatic network. Their main role is to destroy the antigens by phagocytosing them, Dendritic cells are antigen-presenting cells. These travel from the bone marrow to fixed areas in the lymph nodes, the spleen, and tissues. Their job is to trap antigens circulating in the lymph and blood and present it to the resident lymphocytes. They can also take up antigens from non-lymphoid tissue, migrate to lymphoid tissues, and then present the antigens to lymphocytes, which are able to bind to them via suitable